Since my last studio tour, I have upgraded both my monitors from my previous setup. And now I'm using a Dell 32 inch monitor along with the uniquely designed dual up monitor from LG. I do a lot more color grading lately and wanted both monitors to have great color accuracy while still allowing for an efficient use of space for my workflow. So let's take a look at what makes this setup shine and how I can creatively use multiple monitors to speed up my editing and grading workflow. Just as a quick disclaimer, LG did send me the dual up monitor for free for this review. However, they did not have say on my review and everything stated in this video are my honest thoughts and opinions as always. Up first, I have the Dell UP3221Q, which is a 32 inch monitor. I mainly purchased this monitor because I wanted something specifically for color grading that also had true HDR capabilities that didn't rely on calibration from the computer. Reason being is calibrating with the Mac 1 computer started giving me mixed results and wasn't as reliable as I had hoped. Plus this monitor has its own built-in calibration probe, which is the coolest feature, honestly. I can manually choose my working color space and gamma curve and even create a profile that mimics the iPhone screen so I can view exactly what my color grading looks like on a mobile device. Now the really only con I have about this monitor is that it is very heavy at around 25 pounds. And it's more expensive than other monitors out there which I'll address later on in this video. Next up we have this uniquely designed monitor from LG called the Dual Up Monitor. Looking at this at first glance you might be wondering what is this interesting size? Well, it is 2560 by 2880 pixels, which produces a 16 by 18 aspect ratio. So it's equivalent to two 2K displays stacked on top of each other in a vertical layout. As you can see, it really matches the aesthetic I prefer to the studio and blends so well with the rest of my devices. It also has a very similar matte look to the screen that is also found on the Dell monitor. Now the brightness maxes out on the LG around 300 nits, while the Dell maxes out around 350 nits in non HDR mode. So they're very similar. Now regarding the color accuracy, I was very impressed with the results straight out of the box. Looking at footage on both screens, I can barely tell the difference in any color variants. The only visible difference I can tell is the LG leans slightly magenta in skin tones, while the Dell leans slightly to the yellow hue. But again, they are ever so slight. Because of this monitor's unique size, I found myself way more efficient with my workflow. So if you're looking for a monitor for vertical use to use as a content creator, this one blows any other monitor out of the water in that sense. However, it can still stand on its own as a single use monitor. For instance, when editing in Final Cut Pro, I can see so much more real estate with my viewer window while still having access to the rest of the timeline. If I want to utilize both monitors, I just open Final Cut on the LG screen and then click on the second display view button and choose to share the timeline. Then I just create a custom workspace to save it out. Here are a few different workspace layouts that I enjoy with this setup. Where I found myself using this monitor the most is in the dual screen mode actually. I had this monitor split up into two monitor inputs. That way when I'm grading or editing in DaVinci Resolve, I can have a total of three usable monitors and easily move across all of them with ease. Check this out. All you have to do is enable the PBP mode on the dual up monitor and it splits the screen into two different inputs. I have the monitor connected via USB-C and then also connected via HDMI 1 to my Thunderbolt dock. Now I have two separate signals. In Resolve, I can actually use three different monitors where in Final Cut Pro, I currently can't. So here I pull up Resolve on the Dell monitor and then turn on dual screen. I then turn on my scopes and drag them to the bottom screen of the LG monitor. Lastly, I turn on clean feed to that bottom screen as well. And now I can toggle back and forth between my scopes and screen however I like. Now I can do this with two screens, but I get the advantage of sending a clean feed to half the LG monitor in a much more efficient way. When I want to switch back to just a single input, it just takes a couple steps and I'm back to using the monitor with full screen real estate. Now for the stand, I ended up not going with the default stand that came with the monitor. It does have a really good solid stand that is very versatile, but my desk setup requires the use of visa mounts to keep everything off my desk and less busy. This way I can move the monitor to the side and move my camera into place when I need to be on a Zoom call or record a video. After using the previous monitor stands I had with the older monitors, I decided to go with mounts that are hinged at the bottom of the table instead of a pole style stand. They're just more secure and robust with the heavier monitors. Overall, both monitors are awesome. They can both supply power to any laptop up to 90 watts, which means you only need one cable to connect and power your computer. 
When it comes to investment, the Dell costs closer to 3,700 US dollars, while the LG dual up monitor comes in closer to 700 US dollars. So depending on your budget, I'd probably recommend the LG for most users. Overall, this monitor setup is my absolute favorite. Hopefully it was helpful in showing you some ways you can create a minimal setup with multiple monitors to help speed up your workflow. Hit me up with any questions you have about these monitors in the comments section. And if you want me to make more videos like this, just click the like button on the video as it lets me know what type of videos to prioritize for y'all next. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.